Hello everybody, welcome back to another quick tutorial. In this one, I'm in Pacdora, and I am going to show you how you can use this tool to design pretty much anything, especially when it comes to packaging. If you need to create t-shirts, merch, bottles, just literally anything, pouches, jugs, whatever, mock-ups of any type, this platform can help you do it. And there are some new features that I want to cover in depth in terms of they've got a new barcode generator, they've got a new QR code generator, and if you don't have a printer or if you want to be able to go from design to printing without the middleman, they've got direct printing services as well. So we're going to go through all of this very quickly. Let me show you how it works. Let's go. All right, so the first step is you want to go to pactora.com. Links in the description below, of course, and then click on login. I already have an account. So I'm going to log in with my Yahoo account, actually. Let's just go ahead and do that here. I'll just enter it in, put my little thumbnail in because I'm on a Mac, and presto, my thumbprint is accepted. And here we go. So I'm logged in. Now let's get cooking. All right, now that we're logged in, let's head over to mockups. We've got all of these different options here. I'm going to click on mockups, and right away you can see just how good this is. You can see here you can download 3D mockups, but what I want to do is I want to go through here and just give you a quick overview. I mean, literally there are mock-ups for everything. Cans, bags, shirts, box, luxury boxes, eyedropper bottles, pouches, protein pouches, you name it, it's in here. So depending on what you're looking to do, for me, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to click on boxes here. And then when I click on that, look at this here, we can go down and look at all these different styles of boxes. And it says here, tuck in boxes. That's one thing, but there's 267 styles of them or 267 mock-ups of just tuck in boxes. So literally anything you're looking to do here, you can do. Let's go ahead and click on this one here. I wanna show you some of the techniques where we can edit and do some designing. All right, here we go. Let's get into the fun part. We can either click on edit or 3D design. The first thing I do is I click on edit and you're going to be surprised at just how awesome this is. No joke here. Here is an example of a basically of a blank box, but we can now upload our own images and we can do a few other things. If we want, for example, we have white cardboard, but if we want like the old corrugated crafty type look, we can go ahead and select that here. And again, you can rotate it. I'm just clicking on it and rotating it. So this is all done in 3D space. Absolutely wild. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Let's go with the old cardboardy type look here. Let's upload your images. I'm going to click on that right here. You'll already see that I have some images that I've already uploaded it just to test it out here. Let's go with my Bulldog Kingston. I'm going to add him in here. I just clicked on it and presto. And already in the top right, you can see that it has already made a render of what the box is going to look like. Now, obviously it's placed not where I want it, but you can already see it's pretty darn easy to use here. So if I just start moving this around, let's say something like that. Let's move this box here. And you can already see there that as I move this and you can, you know, make it bigger if I want to. But again, I'm repositioning this and just sort of doing what I want here. So if I wanted to make it something like that, maybe, and then I could pull this line out to there. And again, you can do whatever you want. I'm just showing you the techniques here very quickly. And you can see it rendering automatically on the box. Now, obviously, that's probably not what I would go with. But hey, let's add another one here. I've got this one here. Let's add this in. And then maybe I want that to fit right about there. And let's make it a little smaller or something like that. And again, we're just having some fun here. There we go. We've got our front of the box is her face. And then it nicely morphs over and melds over so that the uh, glass of whatever that might be is on the side. And it's not exactly the way I'd want it. So I'd probably pull that out to something like that. And look at that. We've got her on the front here. We've got the side with the drink placed almost exactly where we want it. Let's see if we can get it a little better here or something like that maybe. Either way, we can play with this and get exactly what we want. If I wanted to put this logo on the top, let's put box up top. Watch this. I'm going to move this up here. And again, I'm just going to show you the technique. It's not exactly what I'm going to ship out. But look at that. That is fantastic. And this is an exact render of what you're going to get absolutely crazy you can also go through their elements so if you want to add in shapes or symbols or things like that absolutely awesome it's ready to go and inspirations for those of you that are you know maybe you're in a rush or you're just looking for something more you know 
basic, let's say we wanted to have this scotch plaid look. I could delete this here. I could delete that here. I could just quickly add this in, something like that. And then look at this box. It's literally ready to go for the holidays. Absolutely wild. So that's the first thing I want to show you. Now I'm going to show you the 3D design side of things. All right, here we go. So 3D design is easy. Just click on the little tab here, 3D design. Now watch this. It's going to open up a new tab. And here we go. We're building the packaging, preparing the materials, and presto. It looks like we're in Blender. <laughs> For those of you that have uh, used online free software like Blender or After Effects, you'll see here that we've got all of our uh, axes right here. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can increase, decrease, etc. I'll zoom out and show you a little twirl here. But here's the thing. You can go ahead and basically get a bird's eye view, 3D render of exactly what you're building. And if here on the left side here, if I wanted to see, for example, two of them side by side, I could just switch scene. And then here we go. We've got now two packages. And again, you can also go ahead and just take a look at that. If you want to do this and use this part of me, you can click up here and click on super render. And off you go. It will go ahead and cook it up in a full mock-up here. You can see you can still rotate it around. And then for those of you that want to use this in terms of like perhaps sending it to a printer or to a, uh, you know, distributor of some sort, go ahead and select the format, the quality, and then just click on export now, piece of cake. Now, let me show you a few other things here because they've got barcode generators. They've got QR code generators. There's some crazy stuff going on here. Let me show you that next. All right, so here we are on the main screen. I'm going to go up to the top right. I'm going to click on Workbench. And this way you can see some of the projects that I've worked on here. But here's what I really want to show you is under Tools, look at this here. We've got all of these different options. The T-shirt mock-up generator is fantastic, by the way. Highly recommend try giving it a run. Uh, iPhone mock-up generator. There's so many things here you can create. But look at this on the right side. Design Assistant, Barcode Generator, QR Code Generator. If I click on the top one, Barcode Generator, look at this. If I want a barcode for any of my printing, I can just go ahead and click on that and then bam, put in my numbers here. I'll just make some random number up there and look at that. It's added in perfectly. Export size, I highly recommend PNG. If you want a transparent background, if you want a white background, go with JPG. And if you want an Scalable vector graphic for some, if you're, for example, going to be using a program like Adobe Illustrator, you may want to select SVG. But generally, I go with PNG because it's transparent. And then look at this. You can also use the different styles. So right now, it defaults to UPCA, but if you need a 13 code one or an 8 code or 128 code, et cetera, et cetera, they're there ready to go. Let's go ahead and click on back. I'm going to go back to tools here, and then let's go take a quick look, pardon me, at the QR code generator. Very similar kind of thing. This one's a little simpler to use. It just creates a QR code and bang. You can just slap that on your box or whatever you're creating and presto, it will work perfectly. Okay, now let's look at one more thing. All right, the last thing I want to show you is actually two things here. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. On the top right here, click on Workbench. Watch this. We're going to do die lines and I'm going to show you how you can print your stuff directly from Pactora. So let's look at both of those. First off, Let's dig in and check out that box that I just made very, very quickly here. When I do that here, very simply, you can see on the left side here, it says download die line AI, which is Adobe Illustrator or PDF. If I click on that, it will give us the option to download either. I'm going to go ahead and download the PDF because I like what I got. But if uh, you're working on a design team or if somebody wants to tinker with the design a little bit, highly recommend downloading the Adobe Illustrator style. Okay, I'm going to click on download. You'll see that it starts to pop up here. No, I just got to click on download. There it goes. And boom, it's done. It's downloading. While it does that, I want to show you something else. There it goes. It's ready to go. Now, while it does that, check this out here. Under more on the left side, it says more. Look at this. We can do packaging and printing directly from Pactora. So for me, I send stuff all over the world here, and I don't always use the same printer. So it's always nice to have another option. Packaging, printing, click on that. It's going to open up a new tab like it's done here and then simply request a quote. So I can just click on that here and then it's literally a form. You just fill in your email, your how many of the boxes or whatever it is you just created. I would want maybe 55 of them, let's say. My email address, I'll just pop that in there. And then I just give them a little bit of an update here and then bam, they're going to go ahead and take a look at it. And you'll see here that they have their whole process in nice little fancy <laughs> 
A uh, nice little fancy grid here. So it's get a quote for printing. Sales service gives pricing. Production starts after payment. Delivered within 7 to 15 days. Fantastic. They've got minimum order of one. So they're not going to be like, hey, we need 10000 to go ahead. So you know what? It might be worth a crack. You can always get a quote. What's the worst that could happen? You don't like it? Whatever. <laughs> if you do like it, take them up on it. So there you go, guys. That is a whirlwind tour of Pactora. There are so many things in here. I can't cover them all because it would just be too long here. But keep in mind that there's so much else we can do here. If you look under tools here, you'll see the... I highly recommend you take a look at the 3D mock-up generator in terms of trying out their T-shirts, their iPhones, their, their phone mock-ups. If you're creating uh, skins for phones, for things like that. So many different things here to give a crack, guys. Great software. Give it a crack. I've got a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.